welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Tia. I am a first grade, second grade uh, remote combo teacher. And this is my third year and I teach in North Carolina. Um, so today I'm back with a video. Um, if you are not new here, you know that one of my favorite YouTube uh, teachers to watch is Shelly from Early Adventures. And so she did a pandemic teacher tag. Um, so this guy, um, I don't follow him, uh, but his name is Kyle Cohen and he started this tag. And so he tagged her to do some of these questions. And so I just took it upon myself to answer these questions just cause I thought it would be a fun thing to do. Um, and how teaching in this pandemic is actually going for me and how my county has decided to do remote learning, hybrid, in-person, all that good jazz. So let's get into it. All right, so the first question is, what is your uh, current teaching context? Is it in-person, hybrid, or remote? So as I stated in the intro that I am a first grade, second grade remote teacher. So my county um, is actually five days a week, but you obviously, parents still have the option to do um, remote learning. So because in there was too many in first and second grade remote, they took some out to continue to have spots. Um, in case a student that is here five days wanted to transfer to remote, so they made a combo class, which is me. Okay, so have things changed since the start of the school year? Are they expected to shift? What does the process look like? Okay, so in my previous videos, I've stated that, um, let me first start by saying that typically, my school in this county is the only school that is a, or not remote, it's the only kind that is a um, year round school. And so we're supposed to start back in July and obviously no one was ready to start back school in this pandemic in July. So we just took it upon ourselves to start back in August, like the rest of the county and become a traditional um, school instead of a year round school. And so, our county, our board, decided to do three weeks of remote learning. After those three weeks, uh, parents had the option to either A, send their kid back hybrid, which is an AB schedule, so students came two days a week, um, and then the other half was remote, and then that was on Monday and Tuesday, and then Wednesday was a cleaning day, and then um, Wednesday, no, Thursday, Friday, um, the other set came. And then you also have the option to be remote. And so from the get go, I was always the remote teacher for just for second grade until we decided to come back. Okay, I'm jumping ahead, <laughs> sorry. So after those three, we three weeks were up, we did the hybrid. Well, then our governor uh, for North Carolina decided that he wanted elementary kids to come back um, full-time, but the parents had the option of um, remote learning. And then middle school and high school will stay the hybrid schedule. And so now with this new schedule, as I said, there wasn't enough room to have a second first grade room or a remote classroom, nor was there enough kids to have a full second grade remote. So they combined the two and that's where we are now. Yes, there is another expected to shift um, in January. So the second half, this will be our last, they say our last shift. And that is uh, giving parents another option to either A, stay five days a week or B, stay remote. So I'm waiting for those results and then I may continue to be remote or I may be in person or I may be in a different grade. So just continue to stay tuned for that. Um, okay, so next question. What is something that you have come to enjoy about your current teaching context? Well, since this all has been a crazy roller coaster for me, this year has been crazy. 
Um, so I want to start by saying before the school year started, I was originally going to be teaching third grade. And then like two weeks after that, it was like, JK, I need you in second grade. And then now I'm teaching. And then <laughs> a couple weeks ago, it was like, JK, you're teaching kindergarten. And then J he was like, JK, <laughs> you're teaching a first and second grade remote combo class. So here we are. So uh, this just, I do want to say I enjoy, um, I, I enjoy remote learning, but I'd rather be face to face. Um, it's just, I feel like it's a lot more pressure, a lot more, I don't know how to really say it. Um, with remote learning like there's things that the in-person kids can do or teachers can do and make things more exciting and fun because I know my students are tired of looking at me through a screen and it's funny because I'm recording this <laughs> so yes all right next question so I don't really know if I enjoy it a lot but I mean since I, I am better with technology than some of my coworkers. I guess I enjoy it, um, but I don't want to do this forever. All right, what are some of the greatest challenges you are current, currently facing when thinking about your current teaching context? There's a lot of challenges, um, but my greatest is not, and Shelly said the same thing, and I was literally going to say this before she even said it um, when I was reading through the questions, is not knowing my students as learners. Like, I know them, but it's just like, what more, what, how much can I get through looking at a screen? Um, how do I not know, how do I know if the parents is not in the background saying what the answer is? Like I can obviously see my students and how they, they continue to look to the side like, yes, I'm not crazy. I know parents are sitting right beside you helping baby girl or you know what I'm trying to say. So it's just, that's the biggest challenge. The greatest challenge is seriously not knowing if I'm, doing all I can to genuinely like help my kids get to the next level. I just, I don't know. <laughs> it's hard. It's, that's the one of the hardest parts is not knowing if you're actually doing enough to seriously teach these kids just because, yeah, yeah. All right. Next question, if you have a magic wand that could zap you back to pre-pandemic times, what would your favorite day of teaching look like? Okay, so my favorite or the perfect day of teaching would be flexible seating. Um, students everywhere. <laughs> Learning, getting along, talking. Just, I miss, like, it's so silent in here. I miss, I legit miss the talking and having conversations with my students. Yes, even if it means the bad behaviors that I have experienced with previous past students. It's just, I miss all of that. I miss, <laughs> I just miss student interaction. And I guess that's why I do the after school program so I can have somewhat of a interaction with a student that is like sitting right in front of me and not through a screen is, is, I don't know, that would be the perfect day is to just have kids in the room, you know? I mean, some of you do, some of you don't. And then some of you are not even, <laughs> are not even teachers and you're watching this. But thanks for the support though. All right, last question. What changes do you hope to see in our education system as a result of this pandemic? Uh, more respect of teachers. I think parents are saying that 
And I think a lot of other people are saying, no, this isn't a babysitting job. No, like, we're teaching the future here, guys. Like, I just wish there was more respect. Hey, and if somebody want to throw in a pay raise for teachers, that'd be nice, too. Um, I don't know. I mean, I guess now, instead of taking a snow day, like, or a weather, bad weather day, we can say, ha, huh, call it remote learning. Um, I, for, I guess I forgot to... The, I guess I forgot to mention this, but I mentioned it, have mentioned it before in previous videos um, that my county is a a one-to-one -one device person system. Makes sense. Basically, everybody got an iPad. <laughs> everybody got an iPad. I have a MacBook and an iPad um, for educational uses and lesson planning and all that good jazz. So, yeah. Um, so, this is called the pandemic teacher tag. So, if you're a teacher and you wanna answer these questions, go right ahead. I'm not tagging anybody and answering it. If you wanna answer it, go ahead. But if you do do it, you can tag me, I don't care. Um, but I will make sure and let me know how your experience is with remote learning, what has changed for you. Um, comment down below or do this or make a video and answer the questions as well. I'm sure your followers or somebody else would lo love to see it. So yeah, so that is all for this video. This year has been crazy and it's, all, and it's almost over. So we got this. All right, everyone. I will see you in my next video. Bye.